Hello, Gemini. This is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot, and this is your weekly intuitive tarot reading for the week of May 24th through the 30th. Thank you so much for joining me today, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. And please subscribe, hit that like button, and join me daily for my Quick Glance daily readings. Now keep in mind these are general readings will not resonate with everyone. You can obtain a private tarot card reading by clicking the link to my website below. Be sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising signs to get a collective outlook for the week ahead. And be sure to watch your reading to the end for your collective summary. Now this week, I am working with The Wizard's Tarot by Barbara Moore. So let's get started. First card, Gemini. Ace of Cups, beautiful. Next, Major Arcana card, the Emperor. Knight of Pentacles. And Two of Pentacles. Your Shaman's Oracle card message is Galactic Mushroom, the Divine Matrix. Your crystal for the week, Bloodstone. And I believe I have my Bloodstone handy. And your archetype message from the archetype deck, the Siren. Okay, Gemini. So at first glance here, Gemini, your tarot cards have all the energy of things that you want to obtain. This is looking at creativity, a strong partner, money coming in on a consistent basis, keeping everything in balance. Your oracle cards are all indicating how to go about getting all of what you want by indicating to you that spirit, source energy, whatever name you give to the universe, the one consciousness, is intricately connected to everything that you want to obtain or preserve in your life, Gemini. So let's take a look at each of your cards. Your first card, Gemini, Ace of Cups. This is your anchor card position of the spread. It's your focus for the week. Now the first intuitive message coming through is a creative project something that you're possibly working on or want to create. The Ace of Cups is an indication that there's an opportunity right there waiting for you to grab it, Gemini. Now, the Ace of Cups can be bringing in renewal, Gemini, whatever your spiritual needs are. You're, you're going to find it in this gift that is being presented by spirit and source energy. This can be love healing, grace, creativity. This is an indication that your spiritual bucket or cup here is about to overflow. So for this week, you're focused, feeling inspired. Your creative juices are flowing and you can see the magic here just swirling around the cup on this card. So for the Geminis that are working on a project or at the beginning stages, this is a good week to really get going. Now, the Ace of Cups usually marks the beginning of a new creative project. Now, for some of you, it could be a new relationship or some kind of connection, maybe a new friendship or possibly someone with business connections. The Aces show up presenting the starting point, the emergence of the opportunity, which can only come to fruition if you take advantage of it. This is a gift from the divine that is being extended, but it won't last. So this week, pay attention as something new is trying to come in, Gemini, or get started. Now, the Ace of Cups involves your sacral chakra, the chakra of flow and change. This is where your emotions, your desires, your dreams reside. And when this chakra is balanced, you feel passionate and creative. Now, the crystal that is specifically affiliated with the Ace of Cups is rutilated quartz, 
which is a crystal that cleanses and energizes the aura, promotes spiritual growth. It draws away negative energy, disease, letting go of the past. Now, for some Gemini individuals, the Ace of Cups is showing up as there will be, this will be the week where your intuition is very enhanced and you're really going to be able to tune into your higher self. So pay attention to any dreams. Be very open and receptive to any signs or signals this week. Anything out of the ordinary that captures your focus or attention. Now your next card, Gemini, is the major arcana card, the Emperor. Now for some Geminis, this is an indication of a strong masculine presence around you. This could be your partner. This might be someone you do business with. There is some kind of connection with this individual. This is Aries card in energy, an individual who is very independent, adventurous, creative, aggressive. This could be someone who has a lot of authority, a lot of power. So for some Geminis, this could be a boss or supervisor. And often the emperor can indicate your actual father or someone who has some fatherly type traits, you might say. Very masculine, take charge kind of energy an individual. So this could be someone that exists currently in your life or someone that is going to be coming in. As the Ace of Cups also could be indicating new relationships. So might be someone showing up this week. And the Emperor brings in stability and structure. Now, the energy associated with the emperor might be, for some Geminis, that you're really taking a look at the big picture, possibly trying to come up with a game plan and see what resources are at your disposal right now, assessing what you need for the future. Now, this can be in regards to finances, material resources, your time, energy, all of that. The emperor is taking action putting plans into place, getting things going. So for some of you, you could actually be taking the lead on a project. Some of you might be starting up your own business. It's an energy of tackling something that is a bit of a challenge and you're thinking about the long-term goals that you have in mind. So for some Geminis, you might already have someone in your life with the emperor's characteristics assisting you in some way. For other Geminis, this could be somebody new that will be coming in, someone you might be hooking up with, either in a relationship or some sort of partnership. And yet for other Geminis, you are possessing the traits of the emperor energy this week, moving forward with some long-term plans and goals that you have in mind. Now, the emperor is associated with your first and third chakras, so we're talking about your base, your foundation getting that firmly in place, and also your third chakra, which is your will and determination. So the crystals that can help you out with this energy is carnelian. And yeah, let me put that there. Uh, emerald, ruby, topaz. Now the next card, Gemini, is the Knight of Pentacles which is a very slow and steady, consistent, dependable energy. And with it being pentacles, this can certainly be in regards to money coming in, your finances. Now, the knights are all about movement and change. They're always traveling on some kind of quest or challenge. The knight of pentacles is actually all about timing. This knight understands about timing and will usually find the perfect moment before making a move. Now, most of the time, when you see the Knight of Pentacles on any tarot card, it's the only knight that's like at a standstill. And as much as the Knight of Pentacles is very practical, a very dependable knight, this knight can be so cautious, paying so much attention to detail that everything can come to a halt or a standstill while he's waiting for the right time. So with the Knight of Pentacles showing up in your reading can be an indication of a look and watch for the perfect timing. 
especially in regards to whatever the Ace of Cups is bringing in for you this week. Is it a creative project? Is it a new love relationship? Is it your intuition and imagination really being enhanced? Where you're tuned into your higher self, pointing you in a specific direction. Now, the Knight of Pentacles as an individual could be an earth sign of Virgo, as this is Virgo's card and energy, one that is very practical, very hardworking, very organized. So this could be a Virgo individual that possibly you work with, maybe is your partner, someone you're in a relationship with, someone that you can count on. And for other Geminis, this could be somebody coming in this week, once again, this could be in regards to your Ace of Cups. This could be someone that's going to help you out creatively or financially. Could be someone that you begin a relationship with where it starts out as a friendship, kind of slow and steady, getting to know each other, and then might develop into something more. But again, with this night, it's all about the timing. Now you see the clocks here on the card, and actually, the time on the clocks, if it would kind of zoom in, almost looks like it's 821 or 822. And that might be significant for a particular Gemini in some way, shape, or form. Now, the crystal that's associated with the Knight of Pentacles card is actually platinum. It's an indication representing the future growth, change, and new ideas. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is associated with your first chakra, your base, your foundation. This is the chakra of grounding, survival, manifestation. And when this chakra is balanced, you feel secure and able to take care of your daily needs. Now, your last card here, Gemini, is the Two of Pentacles, which can be an indication of multitasking, keeping things in balance. It can be having a tight budget, watching your money. And for some Geminis, you are extremely calm, juggling a lot of things all at once. You make it look easy, Gemini. Now, for some of you, this is an indication that you just kind of go with the flow. You just take life's ups and downs as they come. Now, for other Geminis, you might be overly busy doing unnecessary tasks, just trying to keep your mind busy in order to not think about possibly a situation that you have no control over at this time. So it's like busy work, maybe cleaning, tidying up, switching the furniture around, which all produces an energy that does break up static energy. So while keeping your mind busy and occupied, it also gets rid of the stagnant energy breaks it up, which creates room for the new things in regards to like your Ace of Cups. It lets it in. But the Two of Pentacles in this deck serves as a reminder. You need to find your true center, create a balance. Just like the Pentacles in the Lemnus Gate here in the picture. This is Capricorn's card in energy, very practical, very focused, persevering, very organized. It's ruled by the planet Jupiter, which is associated with good luck and happiness, good health, good fortune coming your way. As sometimes the Two of Pentacles shows up, Gemini, as an indication to follow the money. For some of you, you might be traveling or even moving house to be able to take advantage of certain opportunities. And the Two of Pentacles is associated with your first chakra. Again, your base, your foundation, something to build on, which ties into whatever the Ace of Cups could be bringing in this week. And it could be finding that balance and juggling in a new lifestyle or with someone special. The crystal associated with the Two of Pentacles card is Chris's Cola which calms, cleanses, re-energizes all of your chakras, Gemini. It draws out guilt, it heals heartache, and increases the capacity to love. It improves communication, opens up your psychic vision. So it can give you the inner balance that we see pictured on this card. 
Now the numerology for your four tarot cards, Gemini, is actually number eight. And eight is the number of abundance. And each one of your cards this week is bringing in something special for you, Gemini. Now next, we're moving on to your oracle cards. And the first one is a message from the Shaman's Dream Oracle deck. And you received Galactic Mushroom, the Divine Matrix. The main message with this card, it's a reminder, Gemini. You need to get with your higher power. And what's pictured here is only what we see here on the surface. We don't know all the complex thread-like networks below. And this is the same in regards to spirit, source energy, connecting your individual consciousness with that of the divine. So it's a reminder that your dreams and desires are heard, but this is a call for your faith and trust. Whatever intention you hold consistently with hope and faith first manifests in what you can't see down here. Whether or not you can see it working on your behalf, eventually you're going to begin to see the evidence play out through events that work in your favor, Gemini. So know that receiving the Galactic Mushroom card is indicating your most beautiful results are happening right now but not just for you, but for the highest good of all. And your angels and guides have selected the bloodstone crystal as the crystal to meditate with for this week. It's in regards to your root and your heart and your sacral chakras, and it's all about detoxifying. Now, when this card in crystal shows up, it's a very strong sign, Gemini, for you to start to look after yourself. So be sure to ground and detox your physical body and spiritual energy. If you haven't been looking after yourself, balance is needed in your life. This is in regards to eat in moderation. Choose foods that nourish and ground you. What are you drinking? Are you staying hydrated? Focus on what you're breathing in. Start by taking a good look at one area of your life and start there. This is also an indication that you might be getting too drained by other people's energies. So try to shield your energy from negative or toxic people. Make an effort to surround yourself with very creative, positive, uplifting individuals. And be sure to meditate this week with the Bloodstone Crystal to eliminate any of the negative energy that might be surrounding you. Now the last card is a message from the Archetypes Oracle deck, and you received the Siren. Now, one of the main indications with the Siren archetype is an indication to explore things that are not the norm, very unique, as this is an indication that the Siren laughs at conventional things. She eats rules for breakfast, you might say. So the message with this Oracle card is indicating that what you thought you might have wanted, Gemini, pales in comparison to what the siren can show you. This can possibly be venturing into something where it's out of your comfort zone, something outside the box that you normally wouldn't do. And it's neither something that is good or bad, just something out of the norm. This can be taking on a project that you've never done before, this can be possibly dating someone that you consider is not exactly your type. This can be going out on a limb and deciding to create your own business. It is something of the unexpected. So in summary here, for your week ahead, Gemini, you're starting out with your focus, your anchor card, the Ace of Cups. So there is an opportunity just waiting for you this week, Gemini for something new to emerge in your life. This can be something of a creative nature. This could be something in regards to a new friendship, a new relationship, possibly a new love. This can be your intuition, enhanced, connecting with spirit, strengthening your co-partnership with the divine. So the Ace of Cups is spirit offering you this gift, this opportunity for something new to come into your life, Gemini. Now, the Emperor card can be an Aries individual 
very powerful, aggressive, masculine individual, very stable, solid. Could be somebody you already know, somebody you're in a relationship with. Could be someone that's coming in. And for some Geminis, you could be possessing the traits of the emperor this week in order to get something off the ground. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is indicating a very slow and steady, very dependable individual or energy for this week. Now, as an individual, it would be an earth sign, a Virgo, someone who's very organized, sees things through right to the very end. This could also be a new friendship or relationship, possibly a partnership with a business starting up. But the Knight of Pentacles is also one of timing. So be sure to watch for whatever the Ace of Cups is bringing in for you, Gemini, which could be very different for each Gemini. Could be relationships, friendships, business partnerships, a new job, a new project, a new home. The Ace of Cups is an overflowing cup to take advantage of, Gemini. So be on the watch for the timing of this showing up this week. And the Two of Pentacles is an indication, keeping things in balance. This could be in regards to money, things that have to get done, balancing home and work lives. And for some Geminis, this is in regards to possibly moving house, taking advantage of a financial opportunity. Now, the numerology for your tarot cards is number eight which is bringing in abundance. The Ace of Cups, bringing in new projects, new thoughts, new ideas, new love, new relationships. The Emperor, bringing in a very strong and steady energy, possibly an Aries individual as the new love, the new friendship, the new partner. The Knight of Pentacles, creating an energy of maintaining that slow and steady energy, possibly income. Maybe relating to the perfect time to start your own business. And it will start off being that slow and steady. And the two of pentacles, going with the flow, dealing with life's ups and downs, balancing everything between home and work, hobbies, projects, and making it look easy, Gemini. Maintaining the balance. So your numerology here is abundance. And you do have quite an abundance here coming in this week between individuals, energy, situations, projects, and so forth. Now, the Oracle card Galactic Mushroom is indicating the divine matrix. It's picturing only what you can see at the top of this mushroom, not exposing all the intricate work and connections that are happening down below. So the message is your dreams, your wishes that you've thrown out into the universe have been heard. And there are things working behind the scenes. So strengthen your co-partnership with spirit so you can be ready when you start seeing events playing out in your favor. Your angels and guides have selected the bloodstone crystal to meditate with for this week as there is an indication that you need to take better care of yourself, Gemini. Watch what you eat, drink, and breathe. And meditate with the Bloodstone Crystal daily this week to detox and eliminate any negative energy around you. And your last message for your reading is from the Archetype deck, the Siren. An indication to not be afraid to hear the call. Step out of your comfort zone. Do something that's outside the box, something unique something you normally wouldn't do. Trust in the universe, Gemini. The siren is calling to you to live life to the fullest. And in doing so, sometimes you just need to live a little. Do something wild and unexpected. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe and help support my channel. And for a tarot card reading, click on my website link below. Love and abundance to my Gemini family.